All right, brothers and sisters, we march onward. We not only uphold the name of Jesus, but we obey him as well. Here we go with uh, chapter 37, and Elihu is still speaking. At this also my heart trembles and leaps from its place. Listen closely to the thunder of his voice and the rumbling that goes out from his mouth. Under the whole heaven he lets it loose, and his lightning to the ends of the earth. After it a voice roars. He thunders with his majestic voice, and he does not restrain the lightnings when his voice is heard. God thunders with his voice wondrously, doing great things which we cannot comprehend. For to the snow, he says, fall on the earth, and to the downpour and the rain, be strong. He seals the hand of every man, that all men may know his work. Then the beast goes into its lair and remains in its den. Out of the south comes the storm, and out of the north the cold. From the breath of God ice is made and the expanse of the waters is frozen. It's just um, poetically saying that God is the source of all these things. Verse 11. Also with moisture, he loads the thick cloud. He disperses the cloud of his lightning. It changes direction, turning around by his guidance, that it may do whatever he commands it on the face of the inhabited earth. Whether for correction or for his world or for loving kindness, he causes it to happen. Listen to this, O Job. Stand and consider the wonders of God. Do you know how God establishes them and makes the lightning of his cloud to shine? Do you know about the layers of the thick clouds, the wonders of one perfect in knowledge? You whose garments are hot when the land is still because of the south wind, can you with him spread out the skies, strong as a molten mirror? Teach us what we shall say to him. We cannot arrange our case because of darkness. Shall it be told him that I would speak? Or should a man say that he would be swallowed up? Now men do not see the light which is bright in the skies. And this is a reference to staring at the sun or lightning so powerful that it would hurt their eyes. But the wind has passed and cleared them. Out of the north comes golden splendor. Around God is awesome majesty. The Almighty, we cannot find him. He is exalted in power and he will not do violence to justice and abundant righteousness. Therefore, men fear him. He does not regard any who are wise of heart. So Elihu's just laying it on Job so that he'll recognize the error of his ways. All right, let's go ahead and pray. God, thank you for your word today. Elihu is right on with his message. No one can do what you do. No one knows your will or your plan. And no one understands justice and righteousness like you. Lord, for today, I think we need to pray through and meditate on trusting you during times of difficulty, trusting that you will not let evil go unpunished, and how you want us to respond when those around us mock us and side with wrongdoing. Some of these may be repeats, but we need it. We need to study and study and hide these truths in our minds and our hearts. Romans chapter 8, verse 28. And we know that for those who love God, all things work together for good for those who are called according to his purpose. Psalm 46, verse 10. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. Psalm 112, 7. He is not afraid of bad news. His heart is firm, trusting in the Lord. Psalm 37, verse 5. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust in him and he will act. Isaiah 41, verse 10. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Isaiah 13, verse 11. Thus I will punish the world for its evil and the wicked for their iniquity. I will also put an end to the arrogance of the proud and abase the haughtiness of the ruthless. Proverbs eleven twenty one. Assuredly, the evil man will not go unpunished, but the descendants of the righteous will be delivered. Proverbs 16, verse 4. Assuredly, the evil man... Oh, I just, sorry, I just said that one. Matthew chapter 5, verse 43. You have heard that it was said, you shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, so that you may be sons of your father who is in heaven. For he makes his son rise on the evil and on the good and sends rain on the just and on the unjust. For if you love those who love you, what reward do you have? 
Romans chapter 12, verse 19. Beloved, never avenge yourselves, but leave it to the wrath of God. For it is written, vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. And keep in mind that self-defense and revenge are very different. Okay, Leviticus chapter 19, verse 18. You shall not take vengeance or bear a grudge against the sons of your own people, but you shall love your neighbor as yourself. I am the Lord. Lord, we need these truths in our hearts more than ever. Help us not to slip in these days, not to let the enemy get the best of us and um, repay evil for evil. Let's stay away from that. I pray, God, that you would keep us our character upright and holy, um, to be very careful of the words that we say, um, things that we do, how we act towards others during this time. May we reflect you and not evil. We don't want to. We don't want to play to their game, and you don't want that either. That's not your character. That is not who you are. So may we reflect you. May we reflect Christ, who who took the beating and took the mocking and the punishment and saw the injustice and righteousness around going on, and then went to the cross and died for it. Let's imitate that today in the rest of our lives and trust that you have a plan. You will punish if they don't come to repentance, but we do pray that people come to repentance as you did. We do, we do want that for these people. Um, but if not, you, that's, you are judge as well. Well, we love you, God. We love you for everything about you and who you are and that you're fair and true. And uh, we trust your plan and, and just help us as we go through the day. Amen. Have a good one.